Welcome to lecture 20, Orientation Tolerance of Datum Feature. Before to understand orientation tolerance of the datum, let's try to figure out what the datum sequence or priority of the datum. The precedence or priority of the datum ABC is decided by the precedence of this datum ABC later inside data feature control frame here. In this segment is A, this segment is B, and this segment is C. That means the first datum is A, the second is B, the third is C. For datum A, there's supposed to be form tolerance only, right? Because this primary datum. But for datum B, there's a perpendicularity to datum A is here. This is a perpendicularity to data A. What does it mean? It means this side surface is allowed to have a perpendicularity arrow. What's the maximum? 0 0.1 here. Something like this. It's allowed to tilt from here to here, 0 0.1, right? Same thing for Datum C. Datum C is allowed to have a perpendicularity to datum A and B. So that's why we call this orientation uh, tolerance to the datum feature, especially to the second one and the third one, right? So let's consider the second one, datum B. If there is a orientation arrow of this side surface, this we call the datum feature, right? This is a datum feature. This is not real datum B, it's just datum feature. So what is real datum B? The datum B should be this vertical surface to datum A. If the nominal angle is 90 degree, see here, the nominal angle for this side surface to datum A is 90 degree. So the datum simulator should be at nominal angle, uh, angle is 90 degree. So here is your datum feature simulator. This is your datum B, or put that way. Here is a datum B, and this datum B is at perfect angle to datum A, and at the same time had highest contact to this side surface. So this is datum B, and here is datum A. So now you understand this 20 is from the datum feature simulator is 20. So you'll find the datum feature simulator and then you can get 20. Now you're going to have the nominal position of this hole that you're talking about, all right? So long and short, the datum feature simulator should always be at perfect form perfect orientation, and later we can, we can say that the perfect location to the previous datum. Okay, for datum A, the form should be perfect. For datum B, the orientation should be perfect to A. For datum C, the orientation should be perfect to datum A and B. All right. All right, let's have an application of this one. If we try to assemble these two parts together, the question is, what's the maximum and the minimum distance between this side and this side? Maximum minimum. The question is, should we consider this perpendicularity? That's the question, right? Obviously, the profile should be considered, right? There's supposed to be two profile, right? Because there are two parts. So if here is datum B, let's put that way. Here is datum B you're trying to use, but there's a perpendicularity, there's an orientation arrow here. Should we consider that? Or this orientation will affect the minimum or will affect the maximum? Let's start from the maximum first. What about the maximum? The maximum means this one 
is at from 20 we're going to add what plus or minus right there's a plus or minus here so we add 0 0.2 then you get a maximum this is the maximum situation you have in here's datum b in this situation is it allowed for this datum b datum feature to tilt out outward now it's already 20.2 uh, 20.2 is it allowed to tilt outward further the answer is no you're not allowed if you tilt outward then the datum b will be here the profile tolerance will be out of tolerance right so the maximum is 20.2 for each part the total is 20.2 times 2 this is what you get 40.4 the perpendicularity is zero this is the maximum distance so what about the minimum the minimum something could happen like this way let's put that away first the parts will be like this and from here to here is 20 minus 0 0.2 because there's profile tolerance right and here is tilt inward 0 0.1 the data feature simulator is still here and from here to here is 19.8 right it's 19.8 this is the minimum the profile is okay and the orientation is okay and you may consider the another situation is the next part will be like this and here it's a datum feature simulator right because you should always use highest contact surface outside the material right and from here to here you get is 19.8 this is the minimum profile and you can see there's a 0 0.1 overlap here right there's a 0 0.1 overlap here so the minimum supposed to be 19.8 times 2 and then you minus 1 0 0.1 this is the orientation right that's the minimum so from here we can see this orientation will minus 0 0.1 from minimum but won't affect the maximum that's the conclusion okay for this for this case so this is what, what we explained in the previous slide right how could we put this in the tolerance form again as we have learned before if the particularity we are at zero to maximum, but we are minus 0 0.1 to the minimum. Then you can switch this to minus 0 0.5 plus minus 0 0.5. That's what you can do, right? And here we go. You could use this one. Oops, sorry. Oh, here in this situation we just minus 0 0.1 but you can remove this one anyway you change this minus 0 0.05 plus minus 0 0.05 but anyway here if you minus 0 0.1 what you get is minimum right or you can get this minimum but a maximum is not true it's not true maximum right you can you use the same skills as we have explained in the previous lecture all right and so in this lecture we have learned about the orientation tolerance of the datum feature and how to use this orienta orientation tolerance into the tolerance stack up all right thanks for watching see you in the next lecture